In today's episode, I'm going to explain to you the concept of defensive rotations and how to act in ranked accordingly to the events that are happening in the game. I hope this will help you in leveling up your gameplay. Welcome to Lotus Lab, eight, uh, episode 86, I think. Anyway, so what are we going to talk about? We're going to take Ascent ranked game typical setup that you're gonna see in most of the cases when it comes to the defenders so Sova, killjoy jet omen reina of course and we're gonna explain how do you need to do rotations typically and what you're gonna see in the game i think this is something that many people lack at almost every level they don't have the grasp of the concept of how to do rotations or when and they also don't understand the roles of an anchor right if do you type an exclamation compendium in my Twitch chat? You're going to also go to compendium and there's prefers preferable defensive role explanation in the video as well. Like this is something that many people just absolutely ignore. And anchoring sites is incredibly important because that's the person that is the last one to rotate. So understanding you, that your role is an anchor is the first step to actually understand how to play conceptually on the defense. So in this example, um, the two anchors are the killjoy, because she's the anchor on B because of her utility, right? That is guarding the B entrance and mid. And then the second anchor is the Omen. The Omen, because of preferential, like preferably, he is the player that is able to hold the fort when it comes to an execute, and he can play with the paranoia defensively here, right? So those are the two preferred characters that will be playing the anchors. Now, this, the thing that happens the most is people are doing over rotations so as an example we're gonna we're gonna take a very um simple thing in ranked you will you will not have full informations because people will not tell you what's going on right but what can happen is for example the let's assume we will know about two players so maybe let's do it like this in a round people from a the reina and the omen will like let you know that raise nade and sky dog is coming towards a so that inclines that there's an execute happening in a main and unfortunately in ranked typically people will already start rotating killjoy is gonna go to spawn sova is already going after that as well and they completely leave b while the players from a main are still there and they are holding the fort and they are not being attacked because they use the paranoia maybe they use the blind maybe they killed one person or not maybe they went for one for one but they're still standing in those positions that means that the execute didn't happen because of that the rotations that happened in the backside here from b to a are not needed the most important thing that you need to understand when you're holding the other side of the map, so in this case, the B side, is that you shouldn't be, as an anchor, leaving the B side till the line of sight is being uh, used by the opponents as an execute. So how do you explain that? So let's say the players are pushing into A, the Reina and Omen are falling back to sight, and now the players from the opposing team actually are pushing onto sight and they breach this line over here so essentially the barrier line when people are crossing this line you are like almost 100 percent certain this is an execute when an execute is happening typically that means that your position on the other side of the map is not needed anymore and you should be rotating not before that not as an anchor so for example let's let's keep the same uh the same example here so the attacking team is going to do an executor's A, right? But we're going to do it like this. Sova and uh, and Kildra are playing on B. Sova uses an arrow at the beginning of the round to clear B. No one here, right? Or maybe just someone shot the someone shot the arrow, but one person just made the notice, right? So then you hear that there's some stuff happening on A, and the players are falling back, and there's some rumbling happening on A, right? So the players are already like here. In this case, the Sova is the only player that can or should rotate from B towards A. Because this guy is the anchor. So this guy then rotates, goes to heaven, helps maybe the, the A players. Until they actually commit, the Killjoy is not joining him. And the Killjoy, preferably, plays from CT because of the position uh, in the CT. She, is, she should be safe 
when she is gonna be holding the B main. So either she can get one kill and then fall back, or play safe and let the let the players of the opponents just go B and then play retake with the four players that were holding the A and they're gonna go back to Killjoy, right? But also, she's if if the uh, if the execute is gonna actually happen on A, that this position on CT allows her to rotate faster to help this side as well, like. This typically doesn't happen in ranked because the players that are holding the other side of the map are doing an over rotation faster. And as I explained before, in this case, the killer will already leave B and then a lurker, maybe the cypher will just take the position on B and you are completely obliterated when it comes to map control because suddenly you lost b for absolutely no reason just because your killjoy who's the anchor of the b side decided to over rotate it's like one of the biggest mistakes that you will see uh on the map so remember to sum it up like the most basic defensive setup if the opposing team is not going through let me just clean this up if the opposing team didn't go through this line and this line you should not be rotating if you are an anchor on the other side of the map. So in this case, if the attack is on B and you're the omen anchor playing on A, you should not be rotating unless this line is being crossed. And the other way around, Killjoy is anchoring B side, so she should not be rotating towards A side unless this line here is crossed. That's like the most basic concept that you can explain um, explain uh, 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 when it comes to basic rotations. Now, in rank though, many things happen, but one of the things for certain is that, it's, that the jet is gonna peak short and die first. One of my favorite, quote unquote, things that happen typically on Ascent. And how, how do you react to this, right? So let's, let's do another like, um, like a round like this. That's something that you would typically actually see happen in ranked. Right, so barrier drops, your jet peeks out of short, gets killed by the sage, sorry, by this raisin sky. So this guy is dead, right? And you lose the map control. Now, the problem is when you're playing on defense and you lose a player in the first seconds, you have to compensate for the, for the map loss, right? And that's a big problem because how do you compensate for a map loss when you are like defending? Right? So one of the options is like suddenly Sova has to like go lurk uh, flank into B main and try to get a little bit of uh, like of an info, like try to get one kill and fall back and so on. But this is super risky, right? This is why dying on short first is such a big problem when you over peak, right? So in this case, there are a few options what the players can do when it comes to controlling the map. One of the best options in this particular scenario would be if Omen and the Reyna would now supplement the loss of short by aggressively smoking out of it, like putting, uh, putting the smoke from Omen, for example, here, right? So it like looks out of the short position and it like indicates that maybe the defenders want to play aggressive out of short. And if the short was already breached, then maybe putting in like this, so this also puts a dent in the plan to advance through short. And then those two players should work their way towards A main, towards here, to maybe kill the Cypher, the Lurker, right? And fall back to equalize, right? Because what's important right now, when the jet is dead, because she overpicked on short, is getting at least one kill on the defense without losing another player. In a 4v4, the problem is that there's still an advantage towards the attackers because you lose more ground as a defender than the attacker um, because they don't need to like you know cover that 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 massive amount of defense ground that you have to do as a defender right but the thing is when those players are pushing here and even if they didn't get a kill right there's one thing important to understand let's let's make it an example like you play like this and those people kill the jet and now they're pushing on the a side right unless you have full info what's happening you also don't move from B because the two players from A main, now it's their job to tell you when, when the opponents actually commit because on Ascent, when people are going through short, it's very easy to pivot back towards mid and B. And this is why also destroying the culture alarm bot on mid is so important with like shock and so on. Something that you don't even see happening on the pro level, right? But 
I digress. So in this case, the players are correctly trying to compensate for the map, map, uh, loss of map control that happened on short, and they are just trying to be like a little bit more aggressive in A main. But they hear the massive amount of footsteps that are already committing towards uh, towards tree. That gives them a lot of confidence that this looks like an execute. But that still doesn't mean that the anchor from the B side should be going in. In this case, if I hear comes from Omen, for example, there's like multiple players going tree, right? And they took the control of A main. Then the Sova starts rotating and plays a little bit safer from here. But unless they go through this line over here or this line over here, the Kildred should not rotate because there's still a possibility that this is going to be a fake or a Lurker wants to go into the B main, right? And then the players from A main, they probably should not even fight those people. They should first try to clean up the A main from a potential Lurker and then go back and fight the players that are going to go onto site, right? So there's like multiple things that are happening, but this is ranked. You can never expect anything like that. And that's the problem because not, not a single person understands that losing a player on defense requires you to be more proactive. So people people typically what you will see is like when the jet dies on short, the players from A main, they will fall back and they will play like this, like very, very deep on heaven, which is not terrible because that allows you to play like retake, but you're still down in numbers. And when you're down in numbers, doing a retake is not an easy task, right? So typically you, they're going to just hold angles, try to get one. But if the attackers are playing correctly and they're just double swinging, triple swinging, you have a hard time doing that unless you're a Chamber of Reina or a Jet with a dash, right? So that's the thing. But again, this is like one of the things that you need to understand. The rotations are always the most important part of the, of the rotations to understand. Is your role to anchor the side or not? And if the role is not yours, then you should be a little bit more willing to be proactive in those rotations, but make sure that you communicate with the anchor that he should not right so that's very important and um let's say another thing the the rotations that i typically see on defense and uh, let me just clean up the map because this is one of the most upsetting scenarios that i ever see in uh on ascent so we go back to defaulting on defense so we're gonna do this jet is on short and this is gonna be very typical right so this happens so often on pistol round, you won't believe, all right? So, beginning of the round, barrier drops, and we're going to have um, a full execute. Oh, wrong jet, my bad. Right? We're going to delete this person uh, and add this person, right? So, there's going to be an indicator that is, they're going towards B. So, a lot of noise, maybe KO Dagger, the uh, Sova arrow tags three players or something like that. And it's going to be a B execute. So, first thing that happens, of course, is an over rotation because they didn't commit through the barrier drop. So they are still in B main. They are not committing to site yet. But the player from short already is going to start rotating through mid. And that's the easy target. For a player like Cypher, when his job is just like putting a trip on a main and then standing just in top mid controlling this rotation controlling this this player just being over aggressive and trying to flank into b main that's like the easiest easiest task ever and this is one of the biggest mistakes the player from short rotating from mid to get a flank on b main typically ends up in a round loss unless he gets in incredibly lucky and kills the cypher while he's being backstabbed Right, so you want to avoid rotating from mid on ascent unless you have quite literal 100% certainty that it's five players in B main. But even if it's five players in B main, this rotation might be terrible. Why? So let's say there's a five players in B main, right? And the jet is like, oh, five players B main. Those players also start rotating, right? So they go to a spawn. The jet is here. But those people still didn't commit. So why is this bad? Because what will most likely happen, because of the over-rotation, because you have certainty about the amount of numbers, the most important position for the defenders right now on this map is the jet. Not the players that are playing here. They're going to do their job, whatever, they do, whatever is going to happen. They're going to try to do their job at holding the site. But the jet now is the pivotal 
point of of the team because what will typically happen when something like this is uh, tr happening in the game is that the cypher is gonna just peek out kill the jet and the jet dying opens up the entire rotation now the players that didn't commit to b main they can go mid and push into a and the players who started rotating from a towards b are now have to go back to a side and they're going to be in terrible positions because the, the attackers most likely are going to be more flexible and they're going to take too much space already for the defenders to be in meaningful positions to like trade up and that's terrible so the player from from short is such a like playing short is such a pivotal position for the defenders that if the player from short doesn't understand what his rotations are achieving you're gonna have a hard time playing defense right so uh so yeah this player from from b uh, sorry from from a short should probably never even try to rotate from mid and even if he does then don't be aggressive you need to wait like that's one of the things the same example right so five players going b main and the jet pushed already mid and she's standing here so now the thing is, those two players are rotating towards spawn because they know about the five players, and you're holding sight. And if you know that the execute, so the opponents didn't go through this, through this area to sight, they didn't do it yet, right? You know that the execute didn't happen. Then this jet player needs to be patient because you can only move forward to have a potential contact on the B players if those people already crossed this. If they didn't, you stay put. The problem is, if you stay put in such a position on mid or something, or even you pushed up over here in this corner, and those people are reluctant because your defenses are now stacked, you have four players here, the opponents will know about four players, they will most likely call that they're going to start rotating back to A, and probably leave one player here in B main. And now, this player is completely demolished, unless he gets two. Because going one for one right now is a cell as essentially doing the same as he would push fast and just not be patient enough because if he kills one and then dies a side is completely undefended and those three players are running through short because they know about the um established defense on b with additional players and that loses the round again so to sum up like the base basics of rotations is one understanding your role are you an anchor on site or not understanding if the execute from the opponents happened or not if it happened that's the moment for the anchors to rotate if it didn't happen that means that if you're flanking you need to put up your pants with the patience on them because you are the most crucial part of the rotation right now and understanding if the opponents are gonna go in or are gonna go back and if you're gonna die you're gonna leave the site defenseless right so having this in your mind is incredibly important and i hope you learned something positive today from today's video uh and we're gonna do more about this topic in the future if you have any questions leave them in the chat i will definitely answer them when i have time thank you for watching see you guys around